The INTP personality of our MBTI personality types makes up 3% of the total population. It's interesting, however, that mostly men are an INTP, with only a little sprinkling of females among them. They tend to be very analytical, but they're also critical because they want to know how things are structured. They're interested in understanding very complex information. They want to be able to analyze it and to be able to find a way to practically apply it because they want very logical explanations for everything. An INTP is going to seek for logical explanations for everything, but only stuff that really interests them. They like the theoretical and the abstract. Generally, they are described as being quiet, contained, calmed, even detached observers. So they're person on the sidelines watching, but they can be very flexible as well. They have an unusual ability to really focus for long periods of times and to really delve into the depths of problems as long as they're interesting to them. They can be skeptical as well sometimes, even critical. Let's take a peek for a moment at their learner style. How do they learn? Now, they really comprehend easily very complicated and complex information. So they are a great learner in this aspect and they assimilate information very quickly, both practical information as well as conceptual or theoretical knowledge. They prefer even deep analytical information and they're gonna make connections very quickly between real world and classroom knowledge. They're logical and analytical thinkers that really like solving problems. So they're great researchers. They like to learn, right? Which means they also like to research because they want answers. They enjoy demonstrating what they know. And so they're gonna show their competence when they've been asked. They love to demonstrate their competence. They're stimulated by ideas and particularly focusing on applications or patterns that might cause them to really overlook some details. Another part to remember is that they're very independent. They value their autonomy. When we look at their classroom values or their classroom space, they value a classroom that is flexible and unstructured. Now, although they prefer an independent study, which is characteristic of most introverts, they really prefer some kind of general outline for their learning. They are very gifted learners in cognitive environments. Well, actually, they're gifted learners in just about any environment. They promote experimentation, inquiry, and questioning. That Socratic method, they really enjoy that. And they like assignments and tasks which are both innovative and original. And this is because they are very contemplative as a personality. They like to sit and contemplate and reflect on items. Now, although they can work alone, they can also work in groups. In fact, I would actually say they prefer to work alone, but they would be interested in discussion and brainstorming. Although they may not share a lot in these discussion and brainstorming sessions, they will definitely take a lot away because they are very observant and they like to be able to assimilate that information.